Um, <laughs> so Matt, we take sixth place. Sixth yeah, place? we'll say sixth place. I mean, are, are you pleased to run? Yeah, I think it's a really good start to the season. I think it's a really good indicator of uh, fitness. I was still running really strong at the end. Um, I think it just it was really cold, and we just had to stand for about ten minutes um, just in race gear. And, uh, it was kind of pointless. I think that everybody warmed up. Um, so I think we lost probably a good 40 seconds over the first, you know, two and a half miles. Um, just didn't get after it. And, uh, that's still so competed just really hard. Standing there in the shorts and everything. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we had to wait for all the introductions and the national anthem and all that good stuff. So interesting. When it's like 30 degrees and windy, doesn't feel great. <laughs> so like, the Chicago Marathon was it cold then? No, or Chicago Marathon. They just do it quicker. Good uh, weather. Well, it was just, yeah, it was mid 40s at yeah. uh, start time. So sunny, it's no wind. So, um, it was a great experience, though. Uh, really good field. Um, it's an interesting race because I think with the park and then you get out on the flat downhill with the wind at your back, like it's kind of two parts of the course. And it's uh, the first half is just a real uh, kind of warm up and then a real like back and forth part of it. Guys kind of testing each other, see who's going to be there. And, I'm glad that I got up in the mix early because that's where the race kind of happened and if you missed the early break you were pretty much just running an American race. So. And um, did you see Farah go down? I did and it was not me. <laughs> um, had, uh, I was right next to it but I'm um, pretty sure like Mo was just running and kind of uh, in Ethiopia was trying to kind of get out and just clipped his trail leg. So. And it seemed like the race picked up right after that. Was that you think that was at all related to that? That Mutai started pushing, or was it already kind of picking no, up at that point? No, it was picking up um, very back, like right as we re-entered the park on the uh, 110th. Um, it was just a steady push up the hills, but any time we hit it down, it was a really hard surge, and um, it, that was that way all the way until we exited the park on seventh. And so Mo just happened to fall on a down that was already it was kind I'm of already picking going. up, and it was that's where the big break happened. So, so what's it kind of? Bro- Broke open, were you by yourself for, for a while? Or? No, I always had a group to run with. I was running with, um, I believe, another, like, um, uh, I was running with two guys, a German and then um, either Eric or Ethiopian. Um, and uh, yeah, I was just really mad, like, early, early on, like, right before the park, it was still tough to, to feel like I was in a rhythm, like, warmed up and just really strong. Um, still just a little chilled and. Um, I let Barrios and another guy get away, and they pretty much just held the same gap the whole way, and um, probably finished 15 seconds ahead of me. So um, that's probably the only thing I wish I could have had back. But it was just a really—I uh, needed an indicator of where I was at fitness-wise. I think training's been going really well. I've been putting in a lot of volume, no real specific work. It's just been a lot of threshold, like go out and run for an hour and a half. You know, just hard just go run um, and so what's, uh, what's up next uh, we'll look at uh, potentially cherry blossom coming up depending on how I come off this uh, maybe Bloomsday I mean is there a focus for the season or is it just fall kind of different fall marathon so it's all just building fall up to that yeah. so last year was uh, so no break between now and the fall season no so there will be. be I think I'll take uh, basically I'll go till I don't know the road racing scene kind of I'll probably go to July, like beginning of July, and then like regroup, get ready for a big build, kind of go back to that winter, winter type training, just putting a lot of miles and volume, and uh, get really serious for a fall marathon. Like last year was about experiencing the marathon, um, seeing if that was something that was going to make me hungry in the sport, um, get me excited about it, and uh, I'm, yeah, so I'm hooked and want to figure. We're about out. five months from that. I mean, from the Chicago, yeah. the first one. What do you think about it now, looking back? Uh, it's it's just a it's an interesting puzzle. Um, you, know, you can get yourself the aerobic side, like just fitness is half the battle. It honestly is, and that's the easy side, that's the easy part to figure out. Like you got to do so many things have to come together for you put in 
you know, months and months of training and um, you get one kind of prep race and then you better be ready on that yeah. day. So, um, you know, fitness wise, I'm not worried about that. Like I'll get that figured out. There's other components that uh, you know, I need to learn how to run my own race kind of within the larger race. Um, get comfortable at really pushing for long distances and grinding away. That's kind of what I missed a little bit today. Um, and uh, the fuel depletion component. So. Yeah. All right. Well, good luck. Thank you.